welcome to savi it solutions now we are making video on lc ladder in previous two sessions we explained about four session three sessions we explained about lc ladder with examples now we are moving into next level that is already we discussed about lct bill with example practically now we are learning class obtained for a student will be learned in this session okay so when i am explaining first uh, in the comment section i will put the question very clearly then i go for explaining right a java program to print the class obtained with the below information okay so what is the information it requires the things here percentage and class obtained so greater than equal to 85 distinction in between 60 to 85 first class in between 50 to 60 second class in between 40 to 50 third less than 40 fail so based on this information i am writing this writing the program so i import java dot utility dot star so class cls O B T A I N D obtained is the class name I need to put. So here public static void main string args. Okay, here first of all I am creating object for the scanner class. after that i need already in the when i am explaining theory i mentioned that this can be implemented in two ways one is directly we need to give the percentage and based on this percentage we need to calculate apply the logic that is the one way of approach the second way of approach is read the marks of the subjects and find the total average percentage and based on that percentage we need to calculate that is the second mechanism we need to follow so in this video i will explain you in the second mechanism not in the first mechanism okay so system dot how dot print ln enter student registration number int std r e z is equal to sc dot next in top next in so in the secondly we need to read the enter student name string std name is equal to sc dot next again system dot out dot print ln enter course 
string course ac dot next now we are reading three subject marks enter three subjects marks int m1 is equal to sc dot next int int m2 is equal to sc dot next int int m3 is equal to sc dot next int so now i need to find total is equal to m1 plus m2 plus m3 so now double pas is equal to total by 3.0 okay now we need to check the condition if a is greater than equal to 85 so we need to create one more variable named string cls obt okay so cls obt is equal to distinct else if p is greater than or equal to 60 cls obt obt is equal to first else if p is greater than or equal to 50 second else if p is greater than equal to 40 the finally else cls obt fail so after that we need to print system dot out dot built in progress report system dot out dot print ln student registration number plus std reg system dot out dot print ln student name std name system dot out dot print ln total total percentage p is system dot out dot print ln class of time 
cl is obt so how we need to save with class name save dot java all program save okay now we move to command prompt here in f drive java proc java c program name dot java so few errors m3 so let us move okay we find it no errors when we running the program enter register number triple one name abc course btec csc enter subject marks so it gives same class less than 60 percent it gives same class so with this one more important thing is missing if the subject m1 m2 m3 are less than 40 percent less than 40 so that this entire logic will not be applicable okay so for that instant what i am doing is i am adding one more if here m1 greater than equal to 40 and m2 greater than equal to 40 and m3 greater than equal to 40 then only this will be happened otherwise we cannot perform this okay so that is one of the condition additionally we are putting it then we will get proper result okay so otherwise cls obt Okay. Now again I need to compile this program. Now triple two ASD. Now the course is BTEC uh, CHEM chemical. Okay, subject marks. So directly it gives he is secured fifty one percent, but one subject is less than 40 so that he was failed thank you